Sugar CRM's latest product, Sugar 14, is here. If you use the CRM in this video, we'll tell you about all the features that you should be excited about. Let's go. Last year's release of Sugar 13 brought some wholesale changes to the user interface of the CRM system. But now there's a new version of Sugar CRM suite of products that brings a whole host of new features for you to get excited about. And today we're going to highlight five features from the new update that we think are going to transform your workflow. Firstly, just a disclaimer that any users that are upgrading from Sugar 13 will benefit from all of the upgrades mentioned in today's video. But for those who are non-enterprise users, you may notice that some of these are familiar with your current system, but there should still be some new goodies for you to try out too. Without further ado, let's get started. First up, having more ways to view, interact with, and organize your data is never a bad thing. And now there's one more with Tile View. Similar in style to a Kanban style board, you can view, sort, update, and navigate through your records in an attractive tile format with the added benefit of focus drawers in this view. You'll be whizzing around your work items without ever having to leave the page. This style of working is extremely popular when it comes to teams working in DevOps and agile environments. So if that applies to you, we would recommend taking a look and giving a try of the new tile view. Speaking of focus drawers, they're now available in the reports section of Sugar when you want to drill down into your reports. Previously, when opening a report, you would go to a separate page to see all of the data. When you're trying to work with multiple reports at once though, this can take the wind out of your work sales, but not anymore. Now, a focus draw will open up the data of the report instead, which means that if you need to open up more than one report at the same time, you can and toggle between them with relative ease. It also works for the report dashlet too, so if you prefer pulling out your reports from there, Sugar 14 has you covered. And continuing with reports, if you're ever unsure as to what type of reporting that Sugar can do that can help you, well now Sugar have offered a little helping hand with pre-built report templates. The templates can be added to the report section of your CRM that offer information to those in specific roles. For example, if you're a sales executive and you want reports that are relevant to you quickly, you can generate the sales report template to bring all of the information you need instantly without the need to configure it. There are also templates for home dashboards too, so you can quickly see at a glance the information that you want every time you open up your Sugar system. If you want to know more about how the reporting ecosystem works within Sugar, these pre-built templates are a fantastic place to start. There's also now dashboard filters that can control multiple report dashlets. If you have multiple reports, even those from the new templates, you can filter down multiple reports with a single filter and configure it. This is huge as you can now see a spread of your information across multiple reports for a specific use case without setting up filters on each report individually. If you frequently import your data from external sources like a spreadsheet into your sugar system, there's now been improvements to the duplicate checker to make sure that all of your data is presented more cleanly. The checker now facilitates combining fields when filtering with the AND and OR operators. Say you've received a list of potential leads from conversations had on social media with the marketing and outbound sales teams, but there are some overlaps with details with them. The new checker adds flexible searching for multiple fields. So if you happen to have a repeat customer that's on your list of leads on your CRM, the system won't duplicate the data. And finally, a big one for the admins out there. For those utilizing the timeline dashlet in Sugar, you now have more control over what your users can both see and search for. An added search option means that any record using the timeline dashlet can search for additional records related to that one. Modules such as upcoming calls, meetings, document deadlines, and more will show in here so users don't have to dive elsewhere to find related pieces of information. And admins can control which modules can show in the timeline dashlet within any given sugar module so only the records in relevant modules can be given access. If you're interested in learning more about the timeline dashlet and want us to make a video on it, 
let us know in the comments below. There's a host of other improvements too, including comment log field ease of use, configuration of inbound emails, filter operation additions, list view filters, an overhaul to the user menu options, sugar predict and enhanced forecasting improvements, as well as bug fixes and optimization of the system overall. For those with Sugar Enterprise, we'll leave a link accompanying this video with full details of the release. We hope you're as excited about this release as we are, and if you have any questions about the new release or how it relates to your system, leave us a comment in the comment section below or get in touch with us direct. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching, and from everyone here at Enable, have a great day.